All right, welcome back, everybody. We're gonna do a little bit of a uh, how you check on some fakes, fake cards. So to the left here, I've got a real revised tropical island, and on the right, I have a fake tropical island. This fake has some damage. Wear and tear. As you can see, someone's played it. Feels real. Can't really go off that, I don't think, because these both feel the exact same. But this fails a light test. So, I could probably start with that. Show you that it does. Okay, is that a real one? Let's see. Nice light passes through. And if we pull that out, very little light. So, this fails a light test. Fails a, uh, passes the, the field test. Looks authentic just because it's been used. I mean, it even has decent, like, you know, the backs, little, little muted in the blues. A little dark on the browns but in revised I think there's a bunch of different you know uh, print runs where there was variation in colors so it's kind of you know I wouldn't just by looking at that that wouldn't automatically you know put me off from buying something like this so I do have the microscope you can look at some of the differences um, let me flick over to that here. Uh, da -da -da. All right, let's get into this. All right, let's start off with the front of the fake. We'll look at the edge. The edge has black. Looks like it's got uh, uh, it looks like the black is printed right in. Kind of. I don't know. It does look like maybe there was multiple printings, but uh, they didn't use uh, I think they used like a like a screening an ink screening process for the blacks on Latte cards. This was printed. Back. Well, let's compare that to the, the real card here. A nice, nice solid black line. So, also if you look at the right next to the line there, if you look at the brown, it's got actual you know, diamonds printed in the, the printing process. Where this is more of a more of a random I, don't know, I guess there are some diamonds in there it's hard to tell with that but um, let's see we can look at the green dot I think maybe if I can find it all right so it does have red dots but it does not have the correct it's kind of just red all over there's red mixed in with the green there's just a mess of red just mixed all throughout the, the white dot there, as opposed to the real one. Which does not have any red in the lighter part of the green. There is some in the black part, the, the shadowed part, and there's also the red in, the, in with the, you got the red L. So, that's kind of fancy. 
Um, if you look at the black and, uh, outline on land on the real card, you definitely see it's uh, it's not printed. You know, it's, uh, it's that same you know, overlay of black where actually this looks damn good if the if this is a fake card if they would have done that with the the outside edging oh boy I definitely would have uh, got some people in trouble but pretty realistic because that almost looks better than the Watsy version although this almost looks like it would be uh, unlimited um, printing because it's it's bright white. Now if we look at the, the tropical island, it's a lot brighter white than the real card. The real card has that muddled, uh, more of a beige tone to it. And I think my camera might have froze. It did. Well, anyways, let's just uh, dump that off the screen. <clears throat> now, long story short, this very nice looking, nice feeling fake got me. And uh, just be careful out there because some of these fakes are pretty tough to, I mean, even with the jeweler's loop, you know, I, you know, like I said, the the font, it uh, it can get you because it looks like it's overlaid, just like the real card. So always carry a flashlight. You know, for some reason they haven't figured out that you you can't use a black core paper for uh, if you want to make a realistic uh, counterfeit card. Um, although uh, it would make sense if somebody bought this as a proxy to be able to distinguish the two, but let's be honest, if you're buying a card that even under the microscope in places it looks as real as a real card, you're probably not going for, uh, for, you know, proxy. You're probably out to screw somebody, so if, uh, if you guys have any other hints or tricks for checking for fakes, please uh, leave them down in the comments. I'm uh, interested in uh, checking out how you guys go about doing that, and uh, I may even make a video about it if it's something that you know I can do on the fly. Yes, I can do the bend test to it, but I'm not going to bend my freaking real tropical island. <laughs> so. Alright, well thanks everybody for watching, and until next time.